Good morning, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Narcology Unscripted. This is Dave. Today's subject is going to be the narcissist is unable to control this. Guys, take a quick second, like and subscribe, and then comment down below if you agree with this take or you don't. You might want to grab your coffee or your tea. Good evening around the world. Thanks for sitting in to the Narcology Morning Show. Cheers. Well, guys, when you met the narcissist, things went a little bit different than they're going now. When you met them, they didn't appear to be controlling. Maybe on some things that, that they gave you red flags that you slept underneath the carpet and rug like your time. That should have been a big red flag. And it is a sign of power and control because they want to control once they see a potential fuel source, they want to lock that down as soon as possible. That is control. And I talk about the the contract. You're not in a relationship when you get locked down. I'm going to talk about the contract this week, the human fuel source contract. HFC is what you're locked down in. It is a loveless contract. There is no love. There is only fake empathy, fake attachment, fake love. They know what all of it looks like, but you can feel it in a, in this contract, not relationship. You can feel it. You just have to go back to square one. So when you're dating, a little side note, when you feel this in your next beginnings of meeting someone, you can, you, when you feel that, you need to get out of there because they're unable to love and you can feel love. You can. So let's talk about the power and control. They're really good at it and, and they can stick out like a sore thumb in a group. The people that have to be right, the people that have to put people down, the people that have to season people to come underneath them. They're not nice. They're nice to everyone's face, but as soon as you leave the group, they're just this. Okay, that's that's a clear indication of a narcissist, guys. You have to you have to watch uh, their actions. You have to discern the fruit of a narcissist, guys. They're all about power and control. Narc leaders, narc parents will triangulate uh, kids to get their way. To season the kids, it's all about mind control, okay? They do it with all fuel sources, and kids are fuel sources. So let's say if the parents are separated or divorced, they're going to use the kids as pawns in their little scheme game using gaslighting, triangulation, and it's a form of witchcraft, guys. It's a form of mind control because they're going to say things like, oh, are you going to go see your mom this weekend? Well, you're going to miss out on Disney World with me and Johnny. They're always dropping bombs on, on little kids, and they understand how impressionable children are, but they don't care. They, they go overboard because of that. And God is standing up because God does not want little children hurt. So this is one of the reasons why there's such a big judgment coming up on the world right now. And in the fall, you're really going to see the, the, the scorpions and serpents around the earth. Who is repenting and who is not repenting? You're going to see it clearly this fall. Going back to the children, though, and uh, God is really speaking through me on this point of the mind control on little kids is they're, they're seasoned at a very young age, guys. And it's it's uh, they're hurting these kids. They are preaching hate into their own children to hate you who have done nothing wrong, who have shown love and compassion towards your kids. They're being influenced, these clustery individuals, by the devil. And God said, if you hurt these kids, watch out because he's going to wrap a millstone around your neck and toss you away. If you don't repent, this is what's coming to you, narcissist. If you, if you continue to manipulate your children and use gaslighting and mind control, you're done. If you don't repent, God is, you're done. This is one of your last chances to repent. Because he's, he's over this. He's done with this. You may be fooling the kids and your fan club around you, but you're not fooling your creator. You have to understand this is 
this life is a gift and you're squandering your gift. You're listening to the wrong voice and you're not repenting. I just wanted to, to, to let you know your fate if you don't shape up or because sh- God's going to ship you out. Back to power and control. They use it in every form that they get, guys. And to battle that, you become Mrs. A because there is no plan B. When you become Mrs. A, there is no plan B. They're, they're used to the default reactionary uh, uh, Mrs. B being flat on her face in the, in the harem garage, in the beehive, buzzing around the beehive, waiting for the narcissist to come back and make everything okay. Those beehives are starting to narrow. The information is starting to get out. God is using uh, channels like this to get the information out because he's he's over this, guys. Mrs. B's, do, do not answer a hoover. Because if you do, it's going to get worse for you. It's going to get worse. And God wants to let you know there is there is so much better for you coming. You have to be patient. God is not angry with you. God wants you to go to the throne and show you that he, he's got you. So get out of the harem garage, become Mrs. A. The demons have no plan B. The, the demons and the narcissists are, are used to getting what they want. Hearing the, the, the buzzing bee sound from the harem garage, but it's, it's time that we are Africanizing these beehives. <laughs> and we're fighting back. So if you want to bark up even Mrs. B's tree, you're going to get stung. This is huge. God really put this on my heart that the, the, the power that the cluster B individuals appeared to have is over. That they're going to be alone. That there's not going to be anyone left in the garage mirroring back that they matter because they made a horrible decision. And because of that, they have to stare at their own reflection, the reflection of the bully staring back at them the bully staring back because this is who they wanted to become and they're bullying little kids their own children they're bullying the people that love them and god is standing up and they made their bed you don't feel sorry for the narcissist they made their bed but this is one of the last chances they get to repent the narcissists really think that this is life is life is about getting their whatever they want and they can hurt anyone. No one's going to find out. This is great. This is great. No. You can believe that all you want. What, what you believe is irrelevant. I'm telling you. What you're, you're up against. God's going to snap your, your branch right out of the vine. And throw you into the fire. And it's coming. All this fall is. Is, is God showing everyone who the snakes are. And who aren't. And you're going to see it this fall. All right, guys, I, ne- I really needed to get that off my chest because I, I read uh, the prayer requests and, and read the open forms over at the SEAL team. And I'm just, you know, praying for the SEAL team. I'm like, these, these people need to be stopped. And God really put this on my heart. Tell them, you tell them what I'm doing. So I'm telling you what I'm doing. You guys join the SEAL team. I'm going to leave that link underneath the video. Like and subscribe. Let's get this information out. Let's get this information. You guys be blessed.